Hi, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happens to YouTube Atheist Community and Stick and Fun. Very I'm running late edition. <laughs> yeah, stayed pretty late to stick ham. Wasn't going to, but I did. Big mistake. So I'm way too tired, I'm way late, and just isn't a good idea. Uh, but anyway, I got so much to do. This is too much. So anyway, uh, yeah, usual stuff, really. Oh, uh, yeah, stick ham really wasn't bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it, right? Yeah, that's all. It wasn't bad. No, I mean, you know, usuals. Uh, Karina was there. Feeling a bit better. Had the flu and such. Uh, traveling again soon. So, I won't probably make any videos until she gets back and settled and all that kind of crap. Um, uh, Samari was uh, charming as usual. I don't even think I said that right. It doesn't matter, I'm thinking. Um, she'll understand anyway. She's got a fucked up name. But she's got great hair. Yep. <laughs> she's got real like, you know, Eve Jane kind of hair. But anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, who else? Void, yeah that's right, Void. Didn't show up for very long. So that was kind of unpleasant. Um, Violet Kitty, Christian kind of girl, uh, but yeah, I guess she's a nice girl, um, but, you know, dumb as a stick, uh, yeah, whatever, uh, you know, God's gonna save us, <laughs> sort of, maybe, kind of, uh, anyway, oh, and zombies, zombies full of formaldehyde, hadn't seen her in years, so she's looking good, and, uh, it's kind of funny, these, these three little kids showed up, and, you know, uh, later, and uh, they look like little zombies. It's kind of funny. A uh, real family resemblance kind of thing going on there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I know, it doesn't sound like much of a night, but it really was. It was really okay. As for the gentleman, uh, Edible Napalm, uh, did hang in there quite a long time, so it's really helpful. And, uh, you yeah, know, just kind of the usual slop. Uh, you know, Brett Kane, <laughs> Bandit, ooh, uh, apropos of Snow Guy, he's been showing up lately, uh, looking all kind of, uh, superior and such, he does that superior look thing, and, uh, we sort of have a little bit of an argument about the legal system and how disgusting and grotesque, uh, the criminal lawyers have made it, and, uh, of course he's defending his to-be profession, and, uh, yeah, I finally had to kick him because uh, it was just getting obnoxious. He just doesn't get the word corruption and the fact that the entire judicial branch is just full of liars. The only way these guys get their jobs is they lie. They're professional liars by trade. Uh, you know, the only people who pay lawyers, you know, are the guilty. <laughs> you know, they don't... Lawyers only make a tiny, 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 tiny amount of money defending the innocent. Um, but anyway, uh, so, you know, they're tainted all over the place. Uh, just scheming to get the criminals off so they can increase their paycheck. You know, so they can advertise better. You kill your, you know, your neighbor, uh, you know, by being a reckless asshole? Call 1-800-WE'LL-GET-YOU-OFF. And, uh, yeah, we'll make you unaccountable for your irresponsibility. Yeah, you know, it's horrible. Lawyers suck, as they say. Certainly as I say, quite often. Alright, so, uh, I don't know, it seems like there should have been some other celebrity. That Sarah Han guy shows up, you know, the half a head guy. And, uh, you know, he says little snarky things in the comments. Doesn't really do the on-camera thing much. Guess it's half a head. Uh, you know, it can only stand so much exposure to, uh, camera radiation or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've seen his full head in, like, three or four years. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, I suppose. Theoretically. Works, I guess, being a little bit mysterious and such. So anyway, on to the YouTube community crap. Uh, Thunderbutt made a couple of videos. Just... I just really find him so, even his voice is just grating on me now. 
It's just way too nispy. You can hardly tell what he's saying anymore. But beyond that, I mean, we all have our speech impediments. Uh, but uh, yeah, his, the, you know, it's just so he's just so obnoxious, such a blowhard. So he flew his little airplane on the, I don't know, it's the tallest hill in Minnesota or something. And oh yeah, it was really exciting. He flew over a dead pond and you know some rocks and some sparse trees. Very exciting. Blah blah blah. Oh wait, wait, yeah, I'm back. Uh, and then uh, he did a video on the DMCA, you know, and some Muslim chick who got pissed off because somebody took quotes from her video. And yeah, I don't really mind the quote stuff, so if that's all the other guy did, that's cool. So yeah, it was a false DMCA. And it really is bullshit that people get away with those. If they don't sue, YouTube should close their account. So it's really the law. If you file a DMCA and the other person counterclaims, you're obligated. If you don't sue, then uh, you, uh, you should forfeit your rights. Because basically you're saying, when you make a DMCA claim, I intend to defend my copyright. And if you don't intend to do it, you know, it's a lie then. And fuck you. So, yeah, it is an abuse. But the real point is, is the DMCA doesn't give copyright holders uh, small copyright holders any power whatsoever because realistically no one can defend their content under these circumstances it costs you thousands of dollars uh, And uh, people just can't do it. It's just not practical and as I found out even if you pay the money the uh, The judges don't want to deal with the cases uh, You know they're they don't <laughs> you know it's just uh, they're so arrogant and pompous they think they're above everything well, they're too stupid to understand any cases, too. That's part of the problem. Judges are really profoundly ignorant. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. This, it really is amazing. They don't even know what cable TV is, public act. They don't know common uh, bits of infrastructure. And, uh, you know, they make these decisions. And they have really no concept about how anything works. Uh, I think that happened in like the Viacom case. They got a judge that's just too stupid. I don't even think he knew what the internet really was. And it's just laughable that uh, you put a case about the internet in front of a judge who has no real understanding of its function. Uh, but anyway. <clears throat> what else? Uh, TJ does life. Yeah, TJ did a video soliciting questions, uh, but only in video form this time. Oh, fuck that. Uh, <laughs> you, know, he'll, you know, he won't answer any important questions anyway. You know, but I did look over his video responses early on. And there was about 20 of them or something. And just, it was a bunch of, you're just saying, man, his audience really is just a bunch of moron, 15-year-old, uh, I, I did a video to TJ. You know, you could just see the yellow bus all over them. Uh, <laughs> you know, pretty pitiful. Uh, that uh, heroin church kid there guy, he made a video a few days ago about uh, asking TJ a question, coincidentally. So he probably should go post that as a reply. Uh, he's asking about uh, antinatalism, which is good. But whatever, it doesn't matter. So moving on. Yeah, the rest of it's just, uh, I've been arguing with Pyro about logic. Yeah, those videos on the Draft Science channel haven't gotten much in views, which is sort of irritating. But, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, and then I was arguing, I don't know, with other people about other shit. It's a ton of videos. You know, I'm always posting videos. So on the website, you know, they're all there. I do have that new page I made that lists, um, you know, various people I'm subscribed to. Like, a, basically, it's a public subscription box. Uh working pretty good now so it's kind of like pyro's group thing feature and it just lists people uh, that I've put in the same group so I probably make different groups uh, now that it's working and uh, you know but I'm going to see how many put maybe a hundred people in there and uh, so it might have some use and probably just parallel your own subscriptions but Sometimes you're not subscribed to people and they make a video now and then you say, 
Yeah, that was a pretty good video. So it's good to have a surprise once in a while. Uh, what else? Oh, I guess that's enough. How much time I got? Wow, lots of time. Man, 10 minutes. It's like the old days. Whew. I could uh, just sit here on a rock and just babble bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And you know I could do it. Yep. Uh, allergy or something. Jeez. I need a nap. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that merit. I'm going to do a video later on consciousness. Somebody gave me some links on this uh, Chambers guy. And, uh, you know, he's full of shit. This whole dualism thing, you know, this whole idea that there's some part of the universe matter can't explain, that energy and matter can't account for. So he throws ca consciousness in that category. Sounds like a smart, scientifically kind of guy, but, you know, this is going to get way too... Uh, there's no mystery to the origins of our consciousness. I mean, come on. It's just an evolutionary tool. Uh, you know, we got to deal with the fact of what it is, not how it is. <laughs> you know, and the what is just bullshit. You know, it's just a bunch of, uh, you know... Uh, brain noise intended to provoke organisms to go out and chase shit. So anyway, I'll save it for the video. And what else? There's some other video I'm going to make on something. <laughs> I wrote it down, yeah? Oh, that's the Chomber scrap. It's on this other page. Yeah, I really do way behind. Yeah, oh yeah, an Ethelism video. And I'll, you know, go through some Ethelism stuff. Uh, focusing on something in particular, I know. Can't remember what it was, but yeah, I'll get to that too. But anyway, man, water everywhere. Whew. Okay, anyway, until next time, and such.